Today we're exploring the complexities of large pack walks and their impact on dogs. Now, on the surface, large pack walks might seem like a great way for dogs to socialise and exercise, but recent incidents and modern understanding of dog cognition and social abilities tells us a different story. So, let's take the horrible tragedy in Carterham in Surrey in the UK, where effectively a dog walker was walking too many dogs, there was a dog fight which led to a fatal mauling of the lady. And then we've got things like the recent scandal in Singapore where dogs were harshly handled and hit just for an Instagram photo opportunity. Such instances highlight the risks of these large pack walks. Supervision is challenging and the potential for psychological trauma to our dogs is high. So, psychologically, these situations can lead to a number of different issues that our dogs can end up experiencing. One of the most harsh ones is flooding, where the dog becomes so overwhelmed that it leads to extreme fear, anxiety and aggression, and can even lead to emotional shutdown. At Noble Canine, we've seen the consequences of this first hand. We've had a, quite a number of dogs coming to us for behavioural rehabilitation, bearing the scars of situations such as the ones I was talking about both physical scars and mental scars and it takes some time and a lot of consistency and effort to rehabilitate the dog's behaviour from that. We stand firmly against all unethical practices in dog care and instead advocate for controlling and nurturing environments so that we can ensure that our dogs are both safe, well cared for and happy. So, when choosing a dog walker or a daycare or anybody else that's caring for your dog, whether that be a trainer, a boarder, whatever, ask about their practices. How many dogs do they handle? What training methods do they use? What certifications and accreditations do they hold? These professionals should be transparent with you. Transparency is key. The well-being of our dogs, of our canine companions as it were, is a shared responsibility. It's not just the owners, it's everybody that works with them. Let's work towards a future where their mental and emotional health is also a priority with regards to them. Now, this is quite a short video. If you would like to learn more about this topic, there's an article attached to this video but there's also a free seminar which we've conducted which takes a much deeper dive into it and that goes into everything from what can go wrong, how we end up having to work with it, what the red flags are and what questions to ask to ensure that you are doing the best for your dog when choosing people that are going to be caring for them and looking after them.